ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a first look of the new Audi SQ8 package. So this is the S package with the, uh, a lot of chrome details, uh, vertical lines that extend a little bit outside. We have big air intake. Uh, the rest is pretty standard. We're just gonna walk around the car and then check the specs. We have chrome um, side mirrors, with the chrome uh, basil around. Sorry for the fast moving. Uh, I'm gonna move slower. Frameless doors, of course. And then we have Audi exclusive package, black Alcantara with a brown leather contrast. And then we have a carbon fiber gloss finish. Inside electronic seats, uh, pretty much uh, standard on Audi for the most part. S line sport seats with integrated headrest, perforated leather. Now, let's check inside the details. I'm gonna mute the sound. So if I move back a little bit just to get this uh, sports steering wheel, it's, it's flat on the bottom and on the sides. So you can see the S-Line badging. Virtual cockpit as standard MMI, both screens. Start stop engine, if I come closer. Parking camera aids, MMI volume and then the automatics here pretty much standard with piano black finish electronic parking grid and auto hold and aluminium finish follow charger cup holders quattro there are ambient lights the car is just off then we have a large compartment glove compartment over there just beautiful wood panoramic roof and alcantara roof finish b pillars as well have speakers over there pretty standard on q8 but this is the sq8 so a little bit more premium finish and sort of sport um, um you know feeling inside with uh some details bang also speakers of course this is the top uh spec model and on the speakers on the top uh ace is nicely integrated uh, a little bit maybe too much piano um, black details that's gonna scratch out easily and leave uh, finger marks over there so uh, the cars are constantly being wiped uh, by the service here and bound and Austin speakers really nice sharp details uh, but let's check the back and of course you have a Audi uh, illumination on the bottom so let's check just the back, uh, same same uh, design, same pattern over here. Uh, the seats, if you knock this down, knock down. So uh, not a flat, uh, but you can see a lot of storage area. Uh, considering this is a coupe model. So let's see here. Now, if I sit here, plenty of knee room. I was on the front. And then I can press on the side and I can lean the seat backwards. So nice view on the back. This is the view front and then the beautiful panoramic roof you should definitely get if you're buying this car. Bound and Alfsen on the B pillar. Uh, we have AC here, uh, all pretty much standard. And the AC is on the bottom, two USB-A chargers and a 12 volt charger. So pretty standard, we have a also pretty standard cup holders and our armrest. So considering this is a coupe car, two meters tall, 6.6, .6, definitely um, enough headroom. Barely touching, but you know, if you're a regular size person, you will have enough space. You can see here uh, that this is flat and then it goes deep inside, providing more head space. Um, and then we have this manual shade. I'm going to actually have to unlock, so we're gonna do that. Uh, let's check it outside. Let's see the uh, back end, how it looks. Does it have fake exhaust? So, but first we're gonna open this. So you can have the shade, but it's, there's a gap there. So uh, this is nice, this opens up. So actually I put it this here. So I was showing it to some other uh, people that were walking by. We have LED lights. 
a little place there you can open the towing hook uh, which is hidden you can lower the air suspension or lift it up um, not sure what this is uh, but uh, a lot of space you can knock down the seats three ways um, there's like three fingers of height so it's not flat bottom but uh, there's a little bit additional area down there and a subwoofer and then you have aluminum doorstep to protect uh, from scratching I'm gonna close this back in camera part of 360 parking system of course and then let's see the back view of the S Q8 looks stylish now if I'm not mistaken I might be mistaken I think this is piano black finish not the color of the vehicle and then we have a quad exhaust which I believe is real so this is the s6 for example and if you can see the right is fake while the left is real so this is real exhaust on both sides as you can see we have aluminium diffuser nothing too aggressive but it looks pretty good honestly and this is the side look uh, well doors are open gonna move to the other side we have here some uh, customers and Audi personnel so basically you get the bottom quad exhaust more power and some S details so let's check the spec of the car and of course I almost forgot to show you 22 massive alloy wheels with the Audi ceramic brakes wow that are peripherated so I guess for a lot of power of 435 horsepower you need a lot of braking power as well so all wheel drive air suspension optional um, you know uh, rear wheel turning stuff like that so let's see technical data 0 to 100 in 4.8 seconds maximum speed limited to 250 8 speed automatic of course and we have if I'm correctly reading 3250 newton meters of torque wow I mean that's the maximum so uh, yeah and just the as far as my German uh, serves me 36 month lease payment of 797 euros so I guess uh, this is the before taxes and then on the bottom is after taxes in Germany um, so yeah uh, the other parts um, uh, not sure if this is like uh, down payment 20,000 and a half euros on a 36 month um, yeah lease base and I guess you're limited to 10,000 kilometers only so planning on driving this car I'm not sure if the lease is the greatest option for you but if you have a company car uh, probably is uh, the rest is not too much different so I'm gonna end it here I'd like to hear your opinions what do you think about the redesign uh, excuse me I mean the S uh, the S version uh, just a lot of content a lot of cars uh, stuff mixes up in my head but uh, what do you think leave a comment below would you guess the S Q8 uh, rather than the regular one I'd like to turn on the light switch to show you the LED lights that haven't turned on apparently Okay, now they're on just to show them this is actually one of my favorite Audis when it comes to SUV it's kind of more interesting than the Q7 by the way there is a new facelift which I filmed is gonna be available on the channel in a few days and then again beautiful connected LED lights well if you want to see more make sure to subscribe to the channel click that bell to get notifications when I upload a new video and please like this video if you liked it at least for the effort and leave your comments below so I'm gonna see you in the next one bye